The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. First chapter, text number 45 and 46. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 1st, 1973, in London, England. Translation I would consider it better for the sons of Dhritarashtra to kill me unarmed and unresisting rather than fight with them. Sanjaya said, Arjuna, having thus spoken on the battlefield, cast aside his bow and arrows and sat down in the chariot, his mind overwhelmed with grief. Jirimam apatikaram asasaram sastrapana It is the custom between the Kshatriyas that in the fighting, if the other party hasn't got weapon to fight, this party will supply him weapon. Not that the other party without weapon and this party will take opportunity to kill him. Uh, this is not uh, the rules and regulation of fight. There are many rules and regulations on the path. Not that because he is my enemy, I shall kill him uh, anyway. No. There are rules and regulations. Oh. <coughs> if the enemy has broken his chariot, he has fallen down on the ground, uh, the other party also will immediately get down from the chariot. Uh, suppose he is fleeing, then he, he, if one is on the foot and another on the chariot, so he will be in superior position. So therefore the opposite party must also get down from the chariot and walk with him. That means the defeated enemy should be given all opportunities. So he may not think that unnecessarily in weak position he has been killed. No. <coughs> so Arjuna says, uh, Arjuna of course did later on. When he killed Karna, Karna was without weapon and he fell down from the chariot. Uh, Karna, after falling down from the chariot, and he was trying to raise the wheel of the chariot from the mud. So Krishna asked Arjuna that this is the opportunity to kill him. You kill him immediately. So at that time he had no weapons and he fell down from the chariot. And in that position he was killed by Arjuna by the order of Krishna. This is violating the laws. So you can violate the laws on the order of Krishna. You cannot do. This is sudden. When Krishna says that you do this, although it is wrong, you have to do it. There is no consideration. Just like in fight, the commander says to the soldiers, do this. His duty is to do that. He should not think at that time what is right or wrong. Just like Yudhishthira Maharaj, he was advised by Krishna that Yudhishthira, Maharaj Yudhishthira, he go to Donacharya and inform him that your son is dead. It was a false information. Because Donacharya will not die if he is not affected with some lamentation. So Krishna asked Maharaj Yudhisthi that you go, because you are recognized truthful, Dharmaraj. So when he will say, this is also false, he will believe. 
But Yudhishthir hesitated. How can I tell that? He disobeyed the order of Krishna and he wanted to become very truthful. For this reason he had to see hell. So, in the mundane consideration, there are so many things, right and wrong. So long you are on the mundane platform, you have to obey all these right and wrong. But in the spiritual platform, when it is ordered by Krishna, he is above all this duality, he is absolute. So even if he says to do something wrong, because he cannot say anything which is wrong, God is all good. If you discriminate God's order from the mundane platform, then he will be misguided. Anyone who has got form and fixed up faith that whatever God does, whatever God orders, even from mundane calculation it may be wrong, that is right. That is absolute understanding. So those who are in the spiritual platform, for them there is no such consideration which is right and which is wrong. Their only consideration is whether Krishna is pleased, that's all. If Krishna is pleased uh, by inducing me to do something wrong, I will not hesitate to do it. I will do it because it's Krishna's order. Kasmin Krishna is about Krishna. My principle should be if Krishna is satisfied, then everything is all right. But uh, while we are in the mundane platform, we should not conk off the idea that Krishna is pleased, let me do that. No. That you cannot do. You have to follow the rules and regulations. Uh, but if you think that it is a... You cannot think, neither you can manufacture. So either you should hear from directly, from Krishna directly, or that is not possible because we are not in touch with Krishna at the present moment. We are trying to see Krishna through the transparent medium of spiritual mass. So uh, we cannot manufacture that this is Krishna's desire, no. You have to get it confirmed from the transparent medium, spiritual mass. Is that the case? <coughs> Arjuna says, Jadimam apratikāraṁ, pratikāraṁ apratikāraṁ. Pratikāraṁ means counteraction. And apratikāraṁ means without any counteraction. So he is uh, <coughs> informing Krishna that in the other party, Bhātura-śrā, the sons of Dhritarashtra, other party, they kill me while I am not prepared. That is not the regulation of fighting. So therefore he says, apratikāraṁ, if I am not prepared and they kill me all of a sudden. This is wrong. So if I accept, even they kill me, apratikāraṁ, without I am fully equipped, also strong. In the fight, one must be equipped with all weapons. But why I am not equipped with weapons, or I am not willing to fight, because I am not willing to fight. This has been decided. I cannot kill my kinsmen. Therefore, I am not going to take this step of pratikara, counteraction. So even in this condition, they come and kill me. Yadimāma prati-kāraṁ asastraṁ. I am not fully equipped with asastra weapons. Asastraṁ and sastra-pāṇaya 
and they are fully equipped. Pregnancy. Last, last time, I mean, I knew. So in this condition, the other party, my cousin brother, sons of Dhritarashtra, if they kill me, Kane Hannu, Sarmethi Mutanam Bhave, I shall pay for it. I am not going to fight. If you think that if you don't fight, then they will take the opportunity. He is talking with Krishna. Krishna, he is already giving the counter argument. The Krishna, if you think that I don't fight, that they will take the opportunity and kill me immediately. That also I shall prefer. But I am not going to fight. This is my decision. <coughs> Sanjaya Uvacha, the Sanjaya, the secretary of Vitarashtra, they are sitting in a room. Huh? Yeah. Eva Mukta just saying, Arjuna, uh, <coughs> the person, Arjuna is nominated case. Arjuna, uh, Sankhe in the battlefield, Rathupastha on the chariot, Upavisa. Mm. You have seen the picture when Krishna blew his consent and from the back side Arjuna is just trying to take his arrow and fight. But instead of fighting, Visidya Sasarancha Pam. No, no, never Finish. Uh, I am no more going to fight. Visidya Sasarancha Pam. Why the Soko Sangvidnamanasa? His mind was overwhelmed with lamentation. Now how can I kill my kinsman? This is the reason. So, pratikaram, pratikaram. There are two things. Pratikaram means counteraction. Here, in this material world, for everything there is counteraction. Just like if you are diseased, so we have to take the medicine. That is pratikāra. The disease is caused by some, what is called, this arrangement within the body. So we have to arrange, we have to set up the disarrangement within the body. That is pratikāra. Medicine, counteraction. Similarly, if somebody is coming to kill you, so you also become prepared to kill him. This is pratikāra. If somebody is drowning in the sea, then you have to give him some help, send some boat or some life boat so that he can be saved. So we have got some This material world is going on. It is full of dangers. Padam, padam, jadam, vipadam. Material world means step by step, simply danger. That is material world. So you have to find out pratikāram, counteraction. How to save yourself from danger. Just like when you walk, you see in so many doors, danger. So that you may be, you are what? Sometimes the doors are, beware of the door. So you have to take care. No, I shall not enter. So everything there is danger and there is pratipā, counter, counteraction. How to save yourself from it? This is called struggle for existence. In this material world, uh, there is uh, only this danger and comfort. I am unhappy, so just to become happy, I have to work. I have to get money, whatever I want. So this is going on. Pratikāraṁ, danger, vipadaṁ, padaṁ padaṁ jada vipadaṁ. 
पदांग पदांग जाते भी पदांग रखे ही साँ तो समाजसिता भी पदपल्लमं प्लवो एनीवन हु हैज टेकन सेल्टर ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्णा समाजसिता जी पदपल्लमं प्लवो महत पदांग पुण्य जसो मुरारी 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 में इस कृष्णा तो पुण्य जसो he is simply uh, glorified by pious activities. There is no impious activities in Krishna. Krishna is the purest. So whatever he does, uh, that is pure. The rascal, they do not know this. They think Krishna is immoral. Uh, and he has become a professor, teacher. He does not know, he does not understand Krishna. So many big, big professors, learned scholars, they do not understand what is Krishna. And they are talking about Krishna. They are taking the position of, in distracting about Krishna. Just see how rascal is. You do not know something perfectly and still you are talking about it. This is going on. Punna Jasu Murare, what is Krishna? Krishna says, the Bhunam Janmanamante Jano Arman Prabhupada. We have to know Krishna, because as soon as you know Krishna, you become immediately liberated. So knowing Krishna is not so easy thing. Therefore Krishna says, Manasyanam Sahasrishu, Kaschidya Nati Siddha. First of all, you become Siddha. Perfect. Perfect means perfect knowledge. That is called Siddha. And a Siddha means very powerful, a master of all yogic perfection. That is also Siddha. Yogi is perfection, eight kinds of perfection. Anima, Lagima, Siddhi, Prati, Yasita, Vasita, Pratamma. Eight kinds of siddhis. They are also called siddhas. From material point of view, the perfect yogi can counteract anything and whatever he likes he can do. That is called siddhi, hasta siddhi. But still, he is not as siddha as Krishna. Krishna's name is Yogeshara. He is the master of all the yogis. Yogisha, Dhatta Yogisha of Krishna. The yogis also, they are deficient with Krishna's power. Still, some rascals, without any yoga siddhi, they claim that I have become God. What is their qualification? Have you got all the yoga siddha? Then, how you claim that you are? But rascals, they claim to become God and other rascals, they also believe that he is God. Both of them are animals. Savai, Savai Devaraha Ustra Kharai Sanskruta Purusha Pashu. One who does not know actually what is Krishna, if we accept somebody, some rascal as God, then he is also animal. That is also animal who is claiming that I am as good as Krishna, he is certainly animal, crazy. He does not know what is the power of Krishna, how much he is Jogeshar. Still he is falsely claiming to become Krishna, and one who accepts him as Krishna, Krishna, uh, uh, one should understand first of all Krishna. Without understanding Krishna, if somebody remarks, if he thinks Krishna as ordinary human being, abhajananti mana mūrha, mana shintanu āsita. That is the mūrha's business, laskar's business. Krishna, because he comes as ordinary human being, manusya vīvā, if we take him, Krishna, as like me, like ordinary, then I am a mūrha. How a human child, at the age of six or seven years, one can lift the whole mountain, Govardhan. 
then first of all try to understand Krishna how much powerful he is. How a three months old child can feel a big demand, putana. Uh, these things are there in the Bhagavatam about Krishna's life. How do we claim to become as good as Krishna? This is crazy. Uh, animalism. So Krishna's order must be final. If he says, then everything is all right. So here Arjuna's position is Krishna has already arranged the battle and he knows that Krishna wants this battle. Still he says that Jadimama Pratikara. He decides in his own way. This is Karmaya. He knows what is Krishna's desire. And he still he is speaking his own philosophy. That, that means Arjuna he is placing himself on the position of ordinary man. Ordinary man does not know what is Krishna and what is Krishna's desire. And he manufactures his own philosophy and thoughts. That is ordinary. But Arjuna, he is always friend of Krishna, constant friend. His name is Gurakesha, above all darkness. Certainly he must be one who is Krishna's friend directly. How there can be ignorance? There cannot be. Then why Arjuna is playing that part? He knows Krishna's desire. Still he says that Jadivama Pratikaram Asastram Sastrapana. And no, Sanvay Shemataram. He's playing like that. Because without playing, Arjuna's playing like that, how did Bhagavad Gita will come? This is just like, just like playing on the stage. One very rich man, he is in a drama, he is playing the part of a very poor. But actually he is not poor man. But in the stage he is playing the part of a poor. Similarly, Arjuna is not built. But for the time being he appears to be built by Krishna's Maya. Because Krishna wants to speak Bhagavad Gita. For the benefit of the whole world. So what is spiritual knowledge? Therefore, this is a, a stage arrangement. So, pratikāram or apratikāram. This, whatever we have uh, manufactured, pratikāram, counteraction, that will be also failure if Krishna does not sanction it. That is realized by Prahlad Maharaj. He says, my dear Lord, Hiranyakasipu, that people have manufactured so many pratikāraṁ, counteraction. Uh, but uh, tanubhita, uh, they, those who have accepted this material body, they are simply manufacturing things to counteract dangers. But even though they have all this counteracting, machine or counteracting agents, still without your sanction this counteracting machine or agent will not be fruitful. Similarly, Arjuna is being protected by Krishna. So even though Arjuna is not well equipped, apratikar, still he will be said. Because Krishna is there. Tavat vibhūta-nubhitāṁ tadukekṣitāṇā. And even one is well equipped, and if Krishna does not like to save him, he will not be saved. Always mind this. Rāke Krishna māreke. Māre Krishna rāke. This is ordinary. If Krishna wants to kill you, nobody can save you. And if Krishna wants to save you, nobody can kill you. This is the position. So the examples are given 
भाई प्रहलाद महाराज बाल समेह सरंग पितरो सिंह माई लॉर्ड मिलिंग देव वे पेरेंट्स ऑफ चिल्ड्रन दे आर नॉट एक्चुअली प्रोटेक्टर ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज जनरली थिंक that this child this boy has got his father and mother he is well protected no uh, their father and mother uh, every father and mother wants to protect the child but still the child has to meet some danger and dies there is so many experiences similarly bala sami hasaranam pitaro nisinga the father and mother is a counter action For the dangers of the child, but for Lord Maharaj said no. They are not counteract. It is not that if a child is in danger, because the father and mother is very strong, very rich, he will be able to give protection to the child. No, that is not so. Then, not touch the child at all. The medicine. A person is suffering from some disease, some fatal disease. If you think I shall engage first class physician and I shall supply first class medicine, if you think then it will the patient will be safe. No, that is not possible. That is not possible. We have got many experiences like that. Then no rich man would have died. Because he has got money, he can employ first-class physician, first-class medicine, and simply by uh, engaging such things, counteracting, pratikaram, uh, he cannot be saved. Uh, there are many examples like that. So the conclusion is: tabat vibhuto no vidang tato pekshita na. If you neglect, if you have decided. That this person, this child cannot be saved. So any amount of pratikaram will not help. Will not help. Therefore, real pratikaram is Krishna. Real pratikaram is Krishna. Counter. So better we take shelter of Krishna, as Krishna says, Sarvadharman purikarjya, mami tam saranam. You must always know. That no counter action will be beneficial for us unless we are protected by Krishna. So therefore, our business is fully surrendered to Krishna and seek His protection. Krishna says, "Yes, Amka Sarva Papi Bhama Kushan." I shall give you protection. This is Bhagavad Gita philosophy. We have to believe on the. Assertion of Krishna that He is prepared to give me all protection, provided I have fully surrendered unto His lotus. Thank you very much.